In his book, The Art of Thinking, the French priest, writer, and philosopher Ernest Dimnit wrote, the history of the past interests us only insofar as it illuminates the history of the present. Israel has been beset with turmoil for much of its modern existence. But looking back over the centuries, one finds that its history is one of being controlled and in conflict with ancient Egyptians, ancient Greeks, Romans, Persians, and many others. The roots of the Israeli state trace back to the late 19th century, when Jewish communities in Europe and other parts of the world were facing persecution and discrimination. In response, the Zionist movement emerged as a political and ideological movement advocating for the establishment of a Jewish homeland in Palestine. During World War I, the Ottoman and British empires fought a battle over the region, resulting in a British mandate over Palestine. The British issued the Balfour Declaration in 1917, expressing support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. This declaration marked the first official international recognition of Jewish aspirations in the region. From 1920 to 1948, there was increased Jewish immigration to Palestine, and communities were established. The growing Jewish population, combined with Arab opposition, resulted in escalating tensions and violence that laid the groundwork for future disputes. The Holocaust during World War II had a profound impact on the Zionist movement. The genocide of six million Jews fortified the idea that a Jewish homeland was necessary to ensure survival and self-determination. Jewish displaced persons in Europe and Holocaust survivors sought refuge and migrated to Palestine. Violence increased, and in 1947, the United Nations proposed a partition plan that divided Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states, with an international administration for Jerusalem. Jewish leaders accepted the plan, while Arab leaders rejected it. On May 14, 1948, David Ben-Gurion, marking the culmination of years of Zionist efforts, declared the establishment of the State of Israel. The Arab-Israeli war immediately ensued, with neighboring Arab nations invading the newly declared Israel. The conflict ended in 1949 with armistice agreements, with Israel gaining more territory than the UN partition had allotted and shaping the borders and future of Israel. The West Bank was still under Jordan and the Gaza Strip under Egypt. Of the many issues that emerged at this post-war point, a substantial number of Jewish immigrants arrived in the newly arranged Israel, and hundreds of thousands of Palestinians were displaced from their homes and became refugees, with many living in camps in neighboring Arab countries. Coming forward about 20 years, <clears throat> we arrive in 1967 and the Six-Day War. This conflict has had a profound impact on Israel's borders and the broader Middle East. Israel launched a preemptive strike against Egypt, Jordan, and Syria, and quickly captured the Sinai Peninsula, West Bank, Gaza Strip, Golan Heights, and East Jerusalem, reshaping the map of the region and leading to Israel's control over the newly occupied territories. In 1973, during the Yom Kippur holiday, Egypt and Syria launched a surprise attack on Israel, with this conflict ending in a ceasefire and a renewed push for peace negotiations. In 1979, Israel signed a peace treaty with Egypt and signed one with Jordan in 1994. The Arabic word intifada means shaking off, and when used in the Palestinian context, it means a civil uprising. The first Palestinian intifada erupted in Gaza in December 1987. It ended in September 1993 with the signing of the Oslo Accords, which established a framework for Palestinian self-rule and a process for reaching a final peace agreement. However, the peace process faced numerous challenges, including continued violence. The second intifada erupted in 2000 and ended in late 2005. It was marked by increased violence and suicide bombings. 
The two uprisings resulted in the death of more than 5,000 Palestinians and some 1,400 Israelis. In 2005, 21 Israeli settlements in the Gaza Strip were dismantled and Israeli settlers and army evacuated from inside the Gaza Strip. In 2007, Hamas emerged both as the victor in the Palestinian elections and in factional fighting with its rival Fatah in the wider Gaza Strip and has been the sole governing authority ever since. Rocket attacks and the Israeli perimeter fence around Gaza have been hallmarks from that time forward. Several peace efforts, including ones aiming to find a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, have achieved little or no progress with disputes over issues like borders, refugees, and the status of Jerusalem. The Abraham Accords in 2020 did mark a historic shift in Israel's relation with Arab nations. The United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Sudan, and Morocco established diplomatic ties with Israel, signaling a new era of regional cooperation. As we have seen in the most recent Israeli-Palestinian war, conflicts remain unresolved with con continued violence, hostage-taking, indiscriminate bombing, and death. When we consider the history of the country of Israel, in its 20th century formation, the past certainly illuminates the present.